皆様お待たせいたしました、no. 続いてのセッションはこちらマントランの CEO とファウンダージョン・パトリック・マリンさんですジョンさんお願いします The next session is John Patrick Mullin, CEO and founder, co-founder, sorry, of Mantra. Welcome to the stage. Thank you very much for having me.、Uh, I have the pleasure of getting to go after the、uh, J-pop idols, so lucky me. You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah. I'm unfortunately not as good looking as they are, but I'll, I'll do my best to make this an entertaining session.、Um, so I'm John, CEO and co-founder of Mantra.、Uh, we are building a real-world asset layer one blockchain.、Uh, has everyone heard of the term RWA? Raise your hand. No? Yes? Yeah? A few? Okay. Well, we're going to talk about RWAs and real world assets today and how Mantra is involved in building an on chain tokenized financial ecosystem. So, Mantra is the home for RWAs. RWAs are real world assets. Real world assets are any type of product or asset that can exist on chain, on a blockchain. And they can be.、Um, You know, used and transacted、uh, in a self custodial way、uh, via a non custodial wallet.、Um, and there's a number of different reasons why Mantra is the home for real world assets. Real world assets are a massive trillion dollar opportunity.、Um, there's any different type of product that can be brought on chain from real estate to gold to other types of fiat,、um, credit, uh, art, whiskey,、uh, anything, sake even. Um, so, all different types of products can exist on chain, and we are working across multiple different use cases about bringing these assets on chain. And as I mentioned,、um, this year particularly, we've started to see a significant amount of real world assets being tokenized,、uh, both on public permissionless blockchains as well as permissioned blockchains.、Uh, permissionless blockchains, such as Ethereum, or in our case, Mantra, Mantra Chain,、um, are primarily used and, and、uh, accepted by retail participants. Um, and some of the products that we're tokenizing today include things like real estate,、uh, US treasuries,、um, private equity and private credit funds,、um, as well as other things like fan tokens, IP content, et cetera. So, Mantra is comprised of several core features. So, as I mentioned before, we are a permissionless layer one solution built on top of the Cosmos SDK.、Um, this means we're a very fast, low cost, scalable blockchain network. Uh, but we have built several custom modules that help support、uh, asset tokenization in a compliant manner.、Uh, these include a decentralized identity module, or DID. Effectively, what this is, is creating a soul bound NFT that maintains your identity connected to an on chain wallet that allows you to passport your KYC or your credentials, your know your customer information, to on chain applications and products. Additionally, we have something called the Mantra Token Service, or RWA tokenization module. Effectively, what this allows you to do is to create any number of different tokens,、uh, whether these are utility tokens,、uh, real estate tokens, asset backed tokens, or STO type of tokens, which have different smart contract functions that allow people to easily、uh, interact with a number of different、uh, real world asset type of、uh, tokens. And finally,、uh, we have this thing called the Compliance SDK, or the Guard module. This is primarily for people who are building on chain applications. Whether you're a Web 2 developer or a Web 3 developer, it makes it very easy for you to build a customizable compliance and governance framework for your on chain application to make sure that you're maintaining compliance of your application. So, why did we choose Cosmos?、Um, there's a number of reasons why we chose the Cosmos SDK.、Um, Cosmos is an、uh, interoperable ecosystem. Uh, that has a very strong technical architecture that allows people to build specific use case blockchains. So basically, you can build a blockchain out of the box that has a number of different consensus uh, um, mechanisms, as well as then being able to customize for your own use case. In our instance, we're customizing for asset tokenization or RWAs. We decided that we wanted to build our own native layer one solution, which the Cosmos、uh, SDK allows you to build. So we have a sovereign validator set that we maintain、um, with our partners to make sure that we can upgrade and comply with international regulatory requirements.、Um, additionally, we believe that there's a number of different technical advantages、um, in terms of bridging capabilities, in terms of、um, you know, some of the custom modules that we've created.、Uh, Cosmos is a very strong technical ecosystem. Additionally, and on a more philosophical level,、uh, if you're building a layer two solution, 
you know, whether that's on Arbitrum, Optimism, or whatever, uh, you will naturally have a ceiling in terms of the value potential or the value creation of your protocol. Uh, you'll never be bigger than Optimism if you're building on Optimism. You'll never be bigger than Arbitrum if you're building on Arbitrum. In this instance, uh, you can be bigger than Atom, which has actually no direct correlation to what we're doing. And actually, you know, there's a famous Cosmos chain, which was one of the largest chains in the world at one point before it blew up, which was Terra Luna. Terra Luna was a Cosmos chain. It was a Cosmwasm enabled chain. And it was the fourth largest or fifth largest protocol uh, in all of crypto. So the idea to be bigger than the actual technical ecosystem that you're part of is also very important for us, particularly because it doesn't limit our upside potential in terms of value creation for our ecosystem. So just a few technical uh, uh, pieces. So we're using Comet BFT, um, Cosmwasm for smart contracts, and uh, IBC protocol, which is a bridging protocol. So I'll just stop here so you can take a picture if you want. These are, these are some of the core pieces that the Cosmos SDK allows you to build. Um, this is, again, the out-of-the-box uh, ability to interact with interoperable solutions, uh, proof-of-stake consensus, um, and a number of different smart contracts. So we are building our own layer one. Um, it is built with Cosmwasm smart contracts as well as custom modules built in Rust. Um, but we're also building layer two solutions, uh, which could be pick your consensus, pick your virtual machine, um, and pick your validator. So it's a pretty interesting model that allows enterprise solutions to be able to actually build a customized blockchain together with Mantra. So again, this idea of modularity. Modularity is a big part of the Cosmos ecosystem. Uh, we are a part of the compliance uh, modular stack of uh, the modular ecosystem. So I, th I think it's very important to understand with RWAs and real world assets, some of the reasons historically why we believe that they haven't been able to get as much traction and adoption at the retail um, kind of crypto native level was because there was very limited ability to have distribution. There was very limited liquidity. Um, and we're building both at the protocol and the application layer. So we've built the chain to support asset tokenization, but we're also building an on-chain exchange for trading real-world assets um, that will be licensed and compliant um, under VARA, which is the Virtual Asset Regulator Authority in Dubai. So here's that project, which is called Omega. As I mentioned, it's an on-chain regulated DEX. Um, so you can see here, it looks like a centralized exchange, but it is fully on-chain, fully non-custodial, but also fully compliant and able to trade and interact and invest in a number of different real world asset products, whether that is real estate, US treasuries, or just pure crypto assets. So we've had some pretty strong success this year. Uh, Mantra is a top 100 token. Our token, our native token is called OM, OM. Um, we have raised money from significant institutional investors, including uh, Laser Digital or Nomura. They have a booth down there. They're one of our strong partners here in Japan. Um, but we also recently announced a very large deal with um, Zan Bank, which is a large digital bank in the UAE uh, for working on a number of different real world asset initiatives. Zan Bank is backed by uh, Franklin Templeton, backed by the Abu Dhabi Royal Family, and a number of other very, very strong partners. Um, so we're excited to be their Web3 blockchain of choice for the UAE. Additionally, we had a very strong uh, partnership announcement with MAG Group. So MAG is a multi-billion dollar real estate developer in Dubai, um, in the UAE. Uh, we announced a $500 million tokenized real estate offering um, that we'll be issuing to investors to participate in the fundraising as well as the equity participation of a very high uh, quality real estate development called Katura Reserve. And kind of the exciting thing about it is, while $500 million uh, is obviously a lot of money, uh, it's actually just a drop in the ocean for some of the other bigger deals that are coming. So some exciting stuff on the horizon. Definitely make sure to follow us and check that out. So here's a bit of our ecosystem. As you can see, very robust ecosystem across uh, the spectrum of DeFi, um, financial investors, et cetera. Um, so you know, feel free to take a look at this. <laughs> I'll let you take some pictures for a second. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and currently, we have a very, very strong community. So uh, our main net is launching in the coming months. So our main net layer one. Uh, but we're currently in testnet. Our second phase of our testnet is called the Hongbai testnet. So I'm based in Hong Kong primarily. But the majority of our team and investors and partners are between Hong Kong and Dubai, hence the name Hongbai. 
Um, our Hong by testnet had over 5 million participants. We have a number of different dApps being built on top of it, um, from real estate tokenization to private credit um, to trading applications, a number of different things that makes it a very exciting, robust e economy and ecosystem. Um, but we're actually going to be launching the third testnet, which is called Dukong, uh, up shortly. So be on the lookout for that. As I mentioned, primarily between Hong Kong and Dubai, uh, but our team is global. We're about 80 plus uh, internationally between Asia, Middle East, Europe, and the Americas. Uh, we do not currently have a presence in Japan, but Japan, I love coming here. It's one of my favorite countries. Um, so we'd love to be more involved in the local uh, crypto ecosystem. Um, we're going to be working with Japanese crypto exchanges to hopefully become uh, able to have our token traded here in Japan. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And yeah, now um, you can check out our incentivized testnet. So as I mentioned, if you're a participant on our testnet, uh, you can go check it out. We have a number of different products live that you can play around with, both on the testnet and on uh, mainnet uh, on Ethereum side, um, which you can earn a portion of a very large uh, airdrop campaign that we're doing of 50 million ohm tokens. So 50 million ohm uh, is roughly today, I think, about 45 million US dollar. Um, so pretty significant airdrop is coming. Um, not financial advice, do your own research, but you can go check it out and participate if you're so inclined. And yeah, um, I'm here for a few more hours. Uh, if you have any questions about what Mantra's building, about RWAs, how you can participate in our ecosystem, we'd love to talk to you, love to hear from you, and uh, appreciate for your time and attention. And again, apologies that I'm not a J-pop idol, but uh, <laughs> I did my best. <laughs> Thank you. Super cute, John-san, arigatou gozaimashita. Ladies and gentlemen, John-san. We'll be starting next session momentarily. Thank you for your patience.